give someone a personal session host, it's like giving them a laptop. It's their personal computer. When you issued a corporate laptop in the past and then the person left the company, you'd want to get that laptop back so you could back it up and save any critical data. Then you would usually re-image it or reissue that computer to someone else. But an Azure Virtual Desktop, you can't do that. Nope. There's no way you could possibly reassign a personal host. Once it's assigned, that's it. Yep, that's it. I'm Dean Safola, and this is the Azure Academy. So this new feature has been made possible by your feedback. So subscribe and become an Azure Academy learner today and comment below with the features you want to see in the cloud. Now on the one side of Azure Virtual Desktop, we have pooled host pools. This is where multiple users log on to the same VM at the same time. The users don't get assigned to any single VM in the pool, but log on to whichever VM is available at that time. On the other hand, you have different fingers. But we have personal host pools. And these have personal desktops, which only allow one user to be assigned to one VM. And that's the only one that they'll log on to, which basically makes it their personal computer. Now, both scenarios have their advantage. And there's a new feature in personal host pools, which will allow you to unassign or reassign that personal host to another user without needing to re-image the VM. In the AVD admin portal, go ahead and select your host pools, find a personal host pool, and then in the left, you want to select the session hosts. And you can see all of the different assigned users right in the middle. Check the box for the host that you want to change and then click the assignment button at the top. And you've got a few choices, assign to a different user or unassign the user. And when you choose assign to another user, you'll see the user picker dialog here on the right. Go ahead and pick your new user like Batman and then click the assign button at the bottom. And you'll get a warning at the top telling you that Cyborg is going to be unassigned and Batman's going to be assigned. It also lets you know that Azure Virtual Desktop is not responsible for cleaning up any user data from the previous user. So we'll talk more about user data in a minute. Click OK and the assigned user has been changed. Now if we go back to that button and click unassign, now the VM is ready for the next automatic or direct assignment. So let me set it back here and assign it to the original user. Let's talk about your user's personal data. In that laptop example I mentioned at the beginning, traditionally you would back up and save that data from that laptop for security or data retention reasons, and then wipe the laptop and re-image it, or assign it just to the new person. So we should do the same thing in Azure. And my general recommendation with personal VMs is to use Azure Backup. That's because it takes backups according to a schedule and can allow you to do a full restore of the VM or just pull out individual files to restore. But if you aren't using Azure Backup and you don't want to start, you can do a quick and dirty backup with a disk snapshot. This will take whatever is on the disk right now, however it's set up, and save it as another Azure resource. But the only way to get that data is to deploy a new VM from that snapshot, which can be more time consuming to retrieve that information. But either way, once you have your backup, you can reassign the VM so someone else can use it. Just like you can share this video on your social media with your sewing circle, your friends at the local dog park, or wherever else you have them. Click the like button so it helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe and click the bell and I will see you in the next video. Happy learning.